supplements this winter. It follows Scotland, which has provided free supplements to some people during the pandemic. Vitamin D helps to keep bones, teeth and muscle healthy. And a new clinical trial has just started, looking at whether it can also protect against coronavirus. Our science correspondent Rebecca Morell reports. A dose of sunshine, helping us to make vitamin D, which is essential for our health. But at this time of year, the sun's in short supply, and with lockdowns, we've been getting out less. From October to March, people in the UK are advised to take vitamin D supplements, and now in England, people in care homes and those classed as clinically extremely vulnerable will get a free supply too. But can vitamin D also help with COVID? This lab is trying to find out. There's some evidence the vitamin helps with other respiratory infections. Now, a clinical trial involving more than 5,000 people is looking at its impact on coronavirus. It's not going to be as powerful as a vaccine, uh, but it might reduce uh, the risk of COVID-19 or the severity of the disease significantly. Uh, we only need to demonstrate a modest effect for it to be worth implementing because vitamin D is very safe and it's very inexpensive. There are still questions about vitamin D, but we do know it has an effect on the immune system. As soon as a virus infects us, vitamin D boosts the body's first line of defense, the barrage of molecules that kill off an invading virus, but it also plays a later role too. Inflammation is vital against infection, but if it goes into overdrive, it can cause damage, and vitamin D may dampen down this inflammation. So is this the case with COVID-19? The vitamins for the clinical trial have been sorted into different doses. Then they're packed up and sent out to volunteers across the UK. Daniel Heary is one of them. There's this sort of great uh, groundswell of uh, public goodwill to try and beat COVID. So quite a small commitment on my part could actually create the evidence base to generate really massive benefits further down the line. The trial should give us answers early next year. The UK government's also reviewing the existing science on vitamin D and COVID and will publish those findings in the coming weeks. 